Okay, so as y'all know, I just uploaded a video and it was like a really oh shit, let me not put my TV in the background. It was a really random, I guess, because nobody knows me. You know, I have people that I follow on YouTube who I talk to on Twitter, you know, who kind of know me or whatever. But as far as YouTube goes, y'all know me. So my videos gonna look really random. So I thought I would come back on, you know, and just give like an overview of who I am. Ooh, my head looks terrible. But anyway, so check it. Um. So I am a rape survivor, a domestic violence survivor. I have really bad social anxieties. Um. When I go out in public, I have to wear a rubber, 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 rubber band on my wrist to keep me present, that I flick or whatever. So, and I'm bipolar and I have PTSD and um, schizophrenic trait and all these things have basically been triggered because of the amount of abuse I sustained and because of my rape. And so, I look at YouTube as a way for me to make friends. I no longer have friends of people I really can count on and I can depend upon. Because I've learned that people are treacherous. You know, that you, you think people people are your friends and they'll turn around and stab you on your back and be like, Oh girl, I got your back, girl, we cool, we this, we that. And they not, and they fake and phony. I don't have time for fake and phony. Because me and fake don't get along. I'm as real as they come. I tell you what I think, I say what I mean, mean what I say, stand behind it, back it up. Whatever it is, what it is. So, with that being said, you know, I thought that YouTube would give me a good platform to come on, you know, express the things that I have been through, process them with y'all, you know, hope that my story or one of my story times will affect somebody, give somebody some make y'all laugh, hee hee ha ha, you know, um, make somebody who's going through something similar to have like a different outlook on it, you know, to see me and see that I've survived and I've overcome it and so can they, you know, I was in domestic violence for nine years from the time I was, um, 19 until I was 29. Some might not be like 10 years, something like that. Nine, 10 years, somewhere around there. Um, I wasn't always with my abuser. My abuser just had that mind control over me. It didn't matter who I was with or who, who he was with. It didn't matter. You know, I always belonged to him. And the only way to stop belonging to somebody is just to straight disappear. And so I went AWOL. Nobody knows where I am. Nobody has seen me. No one has talked to me. You know, and so that's why I'm kind of leery of YouTube, putting my son on YouTube, you know. I don't need that. But, um, I feel that I can't go out into the world and do public speaking because I don't like people. You know, groups of people, mess of people. I'm not about that life. I said I'm going to write a book. We're going to see if I actually write one or not. I started um, making blog posts. Um, the reason why the video I made today was made because I blogged about it. But I also wanted to vlog it, you know, and put my put my my emotions and what I'm feeling out there. Because one day my children will see it. You know, I don't ever want them to feel like I didn't care about them or I just gave them away and I didn't want them. Because that's not the case. But what's best for them might not make sense to them right now. It makes sense to me because I'm older and I'm grown. And they're not. So... You know, I'll deal with their insecurities and their hurts and their fears when they turn 18 and we'll deal with it and we'll go to therapy or do whatever it is we got to do. But anyway, so, yeah, that's a little bit about me. So this is a quick little blip. You know, my videos will be story times. will be things that I'm dealing with in my life, things that have affected me. You know, you'll share in my, my successes as well as my failures. This will be an everyday thing for me. This is an outlet, you know. I was self going to do it. My therapist agrees it's a great idea. You know, I think hopefully I can help somebody because domestic violence is something that's not really talked about. You know, people look at it, oh, you can your ass beat, you should leave. It's not that simple. Once you start bringing children into it and you have kids and that's their father and it's just not that simple. It's hard to do. It's easy to get in, hard to get out of because you'll end up with your credit screwed up. Because you really got evicted and you have white bills that are overdue because you couldn't pay them because they was mad about this or mad about that. It's like you'll get fired from jobs. You just don't understand until you lived it. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for anybody that's going through that struggle. I'll listen to you. I'll give you the best advice I can. You know, I have, I have done everything. 
I have been through everything and I'm still standing and I'm still living and I'm still making it. And I'm taking care of my six year old by myself. You know, I can talk about love after domestic violence because I found love after DV. You know, some people say, you know, find love after, after domestic violence is a complete circle. It's a never ending circle. It ends when you make it end. You know, I'm not getting my ass beat. I'm not getting called up my name. There's no financial abuse. There's no there's no spiritual abuse. None of that. You know, I'm with a really strong, great black man. And that's hard to find in America. And that is a strong black man. And I have one. And I thank God for that man. Because I thank God for what I went through. Because if I never would have went through the things I went through, I never met him. You know, so I'm... My outlook is, through everything, God has a plan and a purpose. And I'll share things with y'all that are going to make up like, whoa, really? And I can show you how I know there's a God. Some people say, oh, there's, there's a God. I know there's a God because I'm alive and I'm still breathing. And I have four beautiful children through via C-section, all four of them. Not one vaginal birth. Got caught four times, delivered four healthy, beautiful children who came out crying Never, well, I had a complication once with my youngest daughter. That's a story time for you. Grass story, crazy as hell. And I'll tell it one day. But, um, so yeah, this is just a little get to know me. Hey, what up? How y'all doing? I'm gonna keep it real. You'll hear my son. You'll never see him. Um, that's about it. My boyfriend, y'all never see nor hear him. He don't do social media. He is terrified of social media. Because this thing is, once you put it out there... It's always out there, and because of what he does for a living, it's not feasible for him to be putting himself on social media. And I'm not mad at that. I'm not. I don't. I don't hate on him for that. That's what he does. That's what he believes in, and I believe in what he does. So, therefore, I'm not going to put him in jeopardy like that. Me, I'm not doing what he does because what he does, you know, to be very public, and because of some things that I've done in my past, I don't want them to affect what he's trying to do. Because what he's trying to do will help change the world we live in. And I'm not going to be a hindrance to that. So anyway, this will be a quick video about me. And it's turned this seven minutes. So I'm going to stop talking. And I'm going to upload this video. So when you see the other one, it kind of makes sense. I kind of should have done it differently. But oh well, you know, you live, you learn, you get loves. Girl, boo, don't like loves. Girl, anyway, let me go. I'll see y'all later. I might come back later and upload a video. Who knows? See how I feel. But um, I'll I'll definitely well no, I probably will make a video today and upload it tomorrow, or make a couple and upload them where it's supposed to go. Cause I have oral surgery tomorrow, so they finna cut out four of my teeth. Can be praying for me. I'm gonna have me some good dope. But um. You can follow me on Twitter at 10 Spin. You know, you can follow me on Google Plus. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, keep it 100. Subscribe. Hey, talk to me. I talk back. I'm real. I'm real as they come, girl. I'm here. But anyway, let me get up off this thing. Eight minutes. Bye, y'all.